Hi, and welcome to what is hopefully going to be a new video series from me on this channel. I know I have been gone for an eternity in internet time. Life has been a bitch. I can't really do much about that. I want to get back into doing something. Um, regular video series on this channel. And I thought I'd start with this. Jurassic Park, <laughs> or Jurassic World Evolution, excuse me. Uh, since I did the uh, Operation Genesis playthrough all that time ago, and this game came along like half a year ago or something, I think this was released. I've played a bit of it, I like it, it's very similar to Operation Genesis, so uh, yeah, I was hoping I'd do a, um, well, a let's play on this. Yes, I know. My auto save is going away. Everyone, may type I say F welcome. in the comments. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. Sorry, yeah. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. That's not ominous or anything. <laughs> okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Bitch, I was born ready. <laughs> I was not. Not for dinosaurs. But for games like this. I'm much. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. Oh, You'll really? Start by building a Hammond creation lab. Shit. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> sure you are. Okay. Just put it down here. Let's Let focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Okay, so obviously we're going to go through You'll a bit of a uh, tutorial. The existing network of paths and the power grid. Yeah. Going to go through a bit of a tutorial since starting fresh again. Let's see, connect that like so. Now comes the real test: incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiol mimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. We'll just get two of those to get started. Imaginations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the... The last time. There's always a last time. And a next. Mm -hmm. Yay! Dinosaur! Life. It begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors. Genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. You look like... What's those birds called? An emu? Yeah, you look like an emu without wings. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. 
Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Okay. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Okay. Uh, I guess I accept this. Construct power and connect an expedition center in our class network. Expedition Center will allow you to send out big teams across the world in search of dinosaur fossils. The first step towards acquiring dino DNA. Let's do it. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Okay, wait. You're not really letting me say much, game. Um... Because you keep talking. I want to play. Um, speaking of which, you might notice that this game is rather quiet. It's because this game actually has a nice little audio feature uh, that allows me to mute licensed music. Because, well, since this is going up on YouTube, probably don't want to have any licensed music playing. So, unfortunately, we are all going to have to deal with the no music thing. I want to try and keep this sort of out of the way of everything because, well, it's it's an administration's building basically, and I want to keep those in a neat little area away from the main park area. Otherwise, they take up space that could be used for that. This thing is placed in the most awkward of spots. Why? Look Look at all the space that you are taking up by placing this here instead of at the edge. I guess this will be the first building people see when they come into the park. That should be fine. Just find a spot where it will actually not be constrained by the terrain. Seriously, just flatten it or something. There we go. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well, they're just big babies then, aren't they? I can't please everyone at once. People think money makes the world go round, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go round, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract, and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning, you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. As well as get money, because that's why you told me to do this in the first place. We should release the other emu sores. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. What are you talking about? This is a modern bird. See? Modern Birdosaurus. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. 
Girl, I would work together with you to create life any day. Uh -huh. Okay, so I need a Triceratops. I knew you were my kind of person. It's inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. She knows me all too well. <laughs> Together, yeah, I, but we can just... create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. I'd like to show you a complete genome. Oh the my fucking The Expedition Center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. You think? You... I mean, I know I'm playing a game based off of a movie here, but come on! Yeah, I know how these work, but I guess the people on YouTube, if they haven't played this game, you can read this. You have to go back and pause the video, though. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Where are my Ebusauruses? Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. No, seriously, where are my dinosaurs? Uh, there you are. Hello. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Yeah, I believe in them too, mostly because I can actually see them. Request a security contract? This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. In that order, so I here's hope. our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. That doesn't sound secure to me. <laughs> You sure you're head of security? Like... Like, that sounds more like the entertainment side of things. To my ears. Operations guests. Should probably get a hotel going. Hello. Do I need one to get people? To start coming in. It's been a while since I played this. I've forgotten. Uh, apparently, I have some income from somewhere. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Oh, you think? Every opportunity comes with risks. For now, you've done the first. That is a job well done. Thank you. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Sure. A million dollars. Storm Defense Station. Yes. Sure. Okay. Edmond to Soros. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the there. animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. 
That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Uh huh. I'm gonna need oh, you to extract God. enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. I'm doing the best I can, game. Seriously. Oh, hey, we found some silver. Silver money. Oh, I actually already have some fossils too, apparently. The fossil center lets you extract <sighs> DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! You done? Thanks. Here you go. Just want to read. <sighs> always use a few more resources. Here's our chance to earn some. <sighs> dinosaur. Yes. Sure. Extract. 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 Let's just get this done, shall we? We don't really have any visitors yet. One of the reasons might be that we don't have any way of viewing the dinosaurs that we do have. Uh, let's see. That would be a good spot for you. You don't want to path to it, like so. And we're going to want some power. So, power station, connect. There we go. Now I'm basically just gonna have to wait for all of these things to finish up. We can make some more dinosaurs in the meantime. These guys. I'm not gonna modify the genome just yet. That's uh, some more advanced stuff that we can get into later. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd Hello, rather Grady. not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. I forgot the game. Power thing. is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Forgot Without the game's power, gonna do this yeah, every time I click on a building. Power. It's a little bit annoying. I have to admit, okay, you got this. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was gonna be easy. I didn't assume either. There we go. I'm not gonna start a new one. Two is fine. Three is also fine. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, nice. Let's extract you. Let's extract you. And you. And this. We've seen that already. Hey. There you go. You get to be Emu Sowers number three. I'm not gonna name them actual names because that's silly. Probably do that later. I like silly. Let's get some more Triceratops and we can get the stuff. This one done, hopefully. 
The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Ooh. Yes, I did click on that just to get it out of the way. Enclosure, we can get to electrified fencing. Buildings, clothes shop. Alright, we can get the upgrades here. Uh, accessory, one would be good to have. Since we don't really have a fully viable thingy yet. It's not enclosure, it's operations I'm looking for. Yes, ranger station. We need a ranger station at some point or another. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, this water needs to go. This water is in the way. Yeah. There we go. The ranger station. Okay, that was impressive. I hardly did anything. I wouldn't call that impressive. But thanks, I guess. PC center can be right here. Has two entrances? No, just looked like two entrances. Looks like there was an arrow on the side here, but probably just a tree or something. There you go. And there. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations yes. and increase your output. Yes. Yes. If I can fit it in here. Come on. Why would you do this? Okay, how much is power center? Half a million. God damn it. Like, I wanted to destroy this one and just rebuild two of them in better locations, but apparently, no, I am not allowed to have nice things, because nice things costs way too much cash. Okay, I saw that there was a place here where you would allow me to place this, give it back, I want it, I want it. Game, you are being... Real butthead right now. Seriously. Okay, there it is. Boom. Finally. Uh, those guys both have power, apparently, even though. No, that one doesn't. Okay. That's what I thought was going to be the case. So. Here and obstructed by what? There. There we go. You should have power as soon as the power station. Power station three? What? Power station one. Where's power station two? What are you talking about, game? I have not. I have not built another power station, to my knowledge. There we go. Oh, we have some people here. Can't click on them to get any information on them. They're just people. <laughs> They're just people. Good one. Yes. Uh, ACU reload speed. I've got something new for you to look at. Sure. Guests. Shelter. Q. 
can I fit the ship? No, I can't because that's where the opening is. I can fit it in here. That'd be good. That'll give good coverage. And right. Research. Go to research. Go to this one. Reload speed. Yes. And I need a Montosaurus somewhere. Um, going to put a. Who do you want? All oh, right, fossils. Extract the stuff. Just extract all of it for now. We've got... Well, we don't have all the money in the world, but we are making a small profit at least. Just the reload speed. Uh, maybe I can get a new entertainment contract. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill yeah, no our shit. facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. And feed the dinosaurs when they get out. <laughs> for free! <laughs> uh, it's actually not for free. Okay, let's incubate this guy. Congratulations to us both. Nice, that's some extra cash in my pockets. Uh, let's see, we're gonna put down a... Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do this. Probably go for a path first. It's not gonna be good. I'm gonna try and save this area for infrastructure that I'm probably going to need at some point, so... Let's see. We'll do something like... this. You made this look easy. Just be sure you don't make the rest of us look bad. I'm kidding. Who could possibly make me look bad? I mean, come on. Let's start with this guy so that I know we can fit him in. And put him right there. We now do the enclosure. There should be a connection point there now. How do I curve? Oh, there we go. Gotta make it look nice, you know? So we will make the closure like so. That looks good. Oh, good enough, I suppose. Um, right, incubate Edmond Mosaurus. Oh, whoops. Oh, too expensive. <laughs> whoops. Oh, well. we'll get the money eventually. Just a little bit more 
just, just a little bit more. Maybe if we send out an expedition. That isn't too expensive. They're all really expensive. I guess 60,000, but that's... Ah, uh, no. Come on. Come on. It's only 60. Like, it's $170,000, and there's like a slightly higher than 50% chance of actually getting him. Give me a contract, you. I'd take this contract myself if I had the time, but I don't. You, on the other hand. Okay. So, you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. That's the opposite of up close and personal. You realize that, right? <laughs> it's, uh... Not what I... Th the first thing I would think of. I'm thinking up close and personal. Okay. Guests operation enclosure. Oh, that one's too expensive too. Yay. And I don't even get the money back for doing that. I've received an offer that will definitely help the science division and can help you. Two triceratops. Well. Uh, you realize I don't have those yet? No, I'm not gonna do that. That because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly I can only have three of these active at one time and I would like to get a uh, contract that I can actually do so I can get the money so I can get the thing do to to do the thing you've not only completed that contract but increased the visibility of our dinosaurs as a result this can only lead to an improved experience for both the animals and our guests. I guess these guys walked into view and that finished the contract, okay. Hopefully this guy will incubate fully without incident. Speaking of that little guy, he's probably gonna need a little bit of water. To drink. I think these guys... You are food. Maybe not. Maybe I do need to build a food dispensary for you because you don't graze on this type of grass feeder. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, feeders are expensive. Today I learned. Well, relearned. Probably need that from before. Also, you have solar panels on the roof. Why do you consume 10 power if you have solar panels on the roof? Shouldn't you be self-sufficient? At least while it's sunny. Are they just there for decoration? Well, probably, because these guys are half covered by the front ones. And they're stationary. You must take care of your dinosaurs. Their health is of vital importance. Who's unhealthy? Why are you unhealthy? Oh, because you're starving. Eh, uh, yeah. Probably. next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because frankly it is but we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid we'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge yes so at this point I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy mm-hmm yeah I <laughs> completely agree with you oh well he's attacking his fence so 
What's the problem? Oh, population and comfort. You want a friend. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. The first thing he did when he came out of his incubation chamber thing, he was make a mating call or something, so... Yeah. You, uh... You do that. Keep, keep going. It's, uh... I need that to happen anyway. <laughs> Are you gonna get through that or not? I don't have all day and this video is starting to get a bit long. Oh my god. Yes. Food. I know. Bought me a hundred grand and I can fix that problem. You're really bad at this. Bro, do you even lift? He doesn't even lift. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we're making a good profit at least. You're terrible at this. I'm gonna call you Eddie. Actually, I'm gonna call you... You don't even need the number. You're Eddie. Eddie. Ter terrible, yes. Terrible. There you go. Okay, you're out. Now what? See, I... He's right here. Uh-oh. That looks expensive. You should get that fixed, and soon. A ranger team is equipped for that. Yeah, I know, but I'm waiting for... Okay, there we go. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. The ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Sure, I know. Gonna get him or what? There we go. Transport secure enclosure. Okay. You'll need to call in the offshore oh, transport nice. team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Mm -hmm. Water is oh, essential, and your dinosaurs require plenty of it. Why are you not providing for their needs? And we're gonna have you go on I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I mean, you can, of course. That's actually good. But why would you? Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Gee, thanks. Keep that in mind. Okay. Fence got insta repaired, that's good. As soon as I get the uh, extra money from doing this mission, we'll be all set to give this guy a friend. And actually start doing stuff. Come on. That helicopter looks strange. 
doesn't it? It looks like a dragonfly without wings. Giant ass dragonfly without wings. Even the windows is like fly like. How flies have their eyes set. the job finished true and square this look the thing is we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control god knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first us or them ever vigilant and that's always been the challenge of the jurassic industrial complex exploitation versus security the immense potential for profit and for violence. And fun! <laughs> anyway, that should do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Also, I do stream on Twitch from time to time. So if you want to go there and give me a follow, it's twitch.tv slash Axion. That guy didn't survive, so I'm going to have to spend another 170000 trying to get a friend to this guy before he breaks out again. And I hope to see you in the next video.